Hello Aquarius and welcome to your weekly messages from the divine. So we are going to be looking at some tarot cards and also some oracle cards to deliver the messages that are here for us. I want to remind you to have a look at your sun sign, your moon sign and also your ascendant sign because by doing this you are going to get a much fuller picture of the energies that you are working with this week. Aquarius, if you could also subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell as I release videos for you every single day. So we are seeing you strong in this reading because you have two major arcana cards on the table here for you. We're going to speak about those in a moment, but let's see what the Ace of Pentacles want to talk to you about. So the Ace of Pentacles brings in an offer of something. There is something here that is coming in, perhaps something around your job, something around your home. So perhaps you were selling your home and you're getting an offer. Or maybe your offer is being accepted because you are buying a home. So this offer is coming around your possessions, your health, your wealth. Because the Pentacles are all about those things that make us feel stable in life. So this energy is coming in to offer a new energy around these things. I love the ace because it's that potential. As this new offer is coming in, it's the potential that you could sell your house. It's not a done deal yet, but the offer is there, right? So the offer is there. This is that potential. This is that seed that is being planted and now you're going to wait for this seed to grow. So this card is all about manifesting. It's about ideas, it's about thoughts. Everything begins from the ace and then from the ace we grow. So what are we growing to? Well, we are growing to a new beginning. We have the full card here, the number zero. And so the number zero is all about starting afresh, going on a journey, taking that leap of faith into something. We can see our full here, looking at all the other tarot cards, looking for information, looking for guidance, which is what you are doing at the moment. So that is a beautiful thing to see. We're seeing that you are not just blindly jumping in without knowing at least what you want. You understand that the rest is up to karma, to the divine, whatever may be, may be. But before you jump, you're making your wishes known. You're making your desires known. The full card is all about, like I said, that new beginning. It's about innocence. It's about being free. This card is all about having high hopes, going for your hopes and your dreams. So perhaps you're thinking to yourself, you know, I know that there's not many jobs out there at the moment and I already have a job and I'm thankful for that. So you're saying to yourself, I want a new job. Maybe you want to move to the country. Maybe you want to immigrate to a different country and you're looking at the tarot cards for inspiration. You're looking at the divine because you know you're divinely guided and protected, right? And in looking, you could be seeing that an offer is coming in so you could be thinking to yourself, you know, I'm just going to apply for jobs anyway. What the heck? What do I have to lose? Your faith is high. You have high hopes. You're excited because life is all about change. It's all about adventures. It's not about all about doing the same thing every day, day in, day out for God knows how long. That is the boring life, right? Mm -hmm. So you're being that fool saying, I need to shake things up. I need to change things up. And you are going and maybe applying for a job. Or you're going and looking at houses or new apartments or whatever it is that you're looking for. There's an energy of you looking and having your dreams, your hopes high. And then in that, we're seeing that our fool is facing the offer that is coming in. And our fool has his hand outstretched to receive something, right? So you could be getting an offer and you're like, oh, okay. I wasn't even really expecting to be getting an offer, but hey, I'm excited that at least I took the chance. And you are getting this offer and now you are taking that leap of faith. And we're seeing that you are not just 
being silly and not researching and making sure that everything is in order before you take this leap of faith because we're seeing that the next card we have is the emperor so this card could literally be meaning that you are going to your father and asking for help asking for wisdom asking for knowledge asking for something or you could just be approaching a male figure who is over 35 and asking for hey can you please look at this situation and tell me what you think? So the emperor is all about getting good advice. The emperor is all about leadership. So if you're asking someone to help you out, chances are if they're a male over 35 or an older male with that older type of energy, they're going to give you really good advice because this is someone with authority. This is someone who's skilled, reliable. This is someone who is a really good person to get advice from or if you're not going to get advice then the emperor card is all about the same type of energy that the situation here that you have going on really look at that situation being logical using wisdom and discernment you're not just rushing in even if though the offers come in you're not just rushing in and accepting you're in that energy now of, mm, the world is my oyster. What do I want? And you're looking and thinking. And so you're really bringing in this maturity, this father-like energy, that, that masculine type of energy is what you are going to be working with when the emperor card is here. And even if you're female, we all have masculine and feminine energies regardless of what sexes we are. We work at some situations with the masculine energies and sometimes we are working with the uh, feminine energies and sometimes we're working with a bit of both. But right now what's on the cards is that masculine energy that has systems in place because masculine energy is all about lines, straight lines, boxes, having rules, having structure, knowing A, B, C, right? The feminine energy is more gentle, more flowing, more fluid, right? And so whatever you're doing, make sure you really have the structure. You really have all the plans and you've really looked at everything in a logical way. This is not you connecting to the divine and just hoping everything is going to be fine. The divine is asking you to also... Be in that energy of co-creating what it is that you want by knowing exactly where you are going, where you are heading, because you have the map. Okay, this is what I want and this is where I want to go. And of course, whatever happens in between that journey, let it happen. But at least you have clear guidelines that you are setting and following. So the divine really wants to emphasize that. That yes, offers are coming in. You have your hopes high. Everything is going really good. But make sure you're also using your logic. Being systematic. Okay? And really doing everything like, like that. <laughs> I don't have a word for that. Like that straight. Right? So, the next card we have, which is our first oracle card here, Aquarius, is saying that adjustments... Sorry, adjust, adjacent possibilities. I could not read there for a second. This is what happens when you're looking at the view uh, find of a camera and not looking down. So this card is all about, like I said, there's an offer coming in. So let's go back with the analogy of you not caring that there's no jobs out there. You've applied for jobs anyway and suddenly you're getting offers left, right and center coming in. And so there could be opportunities that are coming in, right? And then you are in that mode, in that energy of trying to decide what is right for you because you are not expecting for something like this to happen. So this card here is, is just saying that there could be more than one choice. There could be more than one situation. And the situations or the offers that are coming in could be quite similar. You could be in that energy of being, oh, I feel stuck in the middle because I don't know whether I should go this way, that way. But remember, you have the emperor energy. So make sure before you make any choices, 
in fact it's interesting i just saw at the corner of my of my eye so remember we're talking about straight lines and squares and being that masculine energy so we can see again that energy being repeated we can see our straight lines our squares everywhere right really indicating that again make sure that you are using that masculine energy this is not the time to use the feminine energy when you're making this decision so this week really play and use the masculine energy and interestingly enough the next card we have is the man holding the coin so it looks like our masculine energies are going to be holding the money, all right? So again, like I said, this could be you going to the bank and the bank manager is male and he's holding the money. Or you going to your father and saying, hey, I need some money. Or you just going to a an establishment that has like those rules. Banks have like that energy of being masculine because they've got rules you have to make sure you you pass this and you pass that before they can give you a loan so this energy again is saying that if you're going to be needing any type of money apply that masculine energy bring that masculine energy with you so if you're going to the bank and saying hey i need a loan make sure you are super prepared because the bank is going to be asking you for a billion, billion questions. So just be prepared. The man holding the coin is not just going to be willing to give that coin, whatever situation you've got going on. The man holding the coin is going to be like, I don't know if I should give you this coin. And you're going to have to prove yourself. So make sure you know why you are asking or doing what it is that you are doing. So, interestingly, we're seeing that we've worked with a lot of masculine energy. These three cards were really about that masculine energy. But the divine always has a sense of humor because it's coming in with our yin and yang and just rem reminding you, because yin and yang, again, can be that masculine and feminine energy, right? So this energy is asking you, right, to be in balance, because you're bringing in your fire with our masculines. You're bringing all that in. But remember just to also have that softness, that gentleness of the feminine. Because that could also be the thing that wins you the deal that you are going for. Because too much fire bends everything. And too much water drowns everything. Because the water is all about our emotions. So the, what this card here, Aquarius, is trying to say is make sure that whatever you're doing this week, that your emotions are balanced. And also your fire, your passion, your drive, your why, that is equally balanced. So you're not seeing yourself a bit like, you know, a bit like that. <laughs> Tilted one side. That's what I'm trying to say. So our final card, Aquarius, is Freya and Freya is coming in and asking you to be bold she's asking you to unleash your adventurous side and take risks and be daring and she is really emphasizing our goddess Freya she is really emphasizing the 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 joy the adventure that the fool goes on because it's like jumping right so woo going on an adventure to be a fool, you have to be adventurous, adventurous because your mind has created this thing that you want to experience and now you're ready, you've packed your bags and you're ready to go on an adventure. And then in that too, because the fool is that, that, that energy that sees someone or saw you at the beginning of your human life, being really excited about coming down here to experience what it's like to be human. You had all these amazing ideas and fantasies of, oh my God, it's going to be amazing, right? And the divine is like, oh yeah, it'll be amazing. And so you had all your, your dreams were high, your hopes were high, you were really excited. And as you fell down to earth and then incarnation after reincarnation after reincarnation you realize that maybe you were a fool to come down to earth to experience this human experience or maybe you're one of those amazing people 
that has really enjoyed this adventure of being a human. And so maybe you are that person who is having a wonderful adventure and you can't wait to come back down to earth and do it all over again. Whatever is going on, Aquarius, this is the reading and the energy that we have. So like I said, the masculine energy is strong this week. The feminine energy is also going to be needed because we always need to remain balanced. But to remain balanced means that you must do everything. Whatever you're doing here with this masculine energy, what it's really asking you to do is be prepared, be strong, know what you stand for. If someone challenges you, be willing to stand up and say X, Y, Z. This is my truth. This is my authentic truth. We're not talking about arguing. We're talking about knowing your facts. We're talking about um, knowing your numbers, knowing your figures, knowing whatever you need to know, because that's what's going to be important. This is not the energy that is just like connect to the divine and everything is going to be amazing. No. In this reading, it's all about you being driven, knowing what you want. Being willing to put the strength, the power to go for it. Being willing to be driven. But being that fool, remembering that you are connected to the divine, but you are just not relying on your intuition. You are relying and understanding that this week, your human, your humanness is going to be really important. And so this is the reading that I have for you. Remember to give this video a thumbs up comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. On that note, Aquarius, it's a goodbye.